Welcome to the new Actaris Cube Wizard. This powerful new feature enables you to create Actaris cubes and dimensions quickly and simply. Go to the Cube Wizard at the bottom of the left navigation bar. This opens a new screen. The Cube Wizard supports a variety of common sources, including Excel, text files, SQL Server tables, and Power BI tables. In this preview, we will be using Excel. Here you can select an Excel file. Here we see a typical single value column flattened table. In this case, can see this is a HubSpot export, but this could be any type of data. You can see deal, ID, and closed one reason, last modified date, and so on. So, in order to create a cube, type in the name that you wish to name the cube. Incidentally, it's also possible to create just a dimension if you so wish. In this case, we will create an entire cube. Then you just select the fields that you want to use in the cube. Let's say we're not interested in these ones, but the close that is important for us, that is the date column for our cube, so we can just select here the column. And we have to give this a name. So we the granularity. I can choose now either day or month. You can import the time, date, as is on that particular date, or you can opt to add this up on a monthly basis. Let's say you want to do this for budgeting purposes, typically done on a monthly basis. This is better, so this will group the data and do an additive import by month and will generate automatically the time dimension with all the relevant details. The cube wizard has automatically identified first date and last date. If you want to create longer periods, you can do as here. So if you want to go to, let's say, 2022, it's as easy as this. Then you can specify your dimensions. So you will have to first specify the dimension. Let's say we want a dimension for the deal name. So we make that a dimension, and we want the value which is here, and then we also want to have the salesperson. This is the deal owner is another dimension. And within the deal owner, I want to have the team as an additional hierarchy. So here I'm defining attributes for the deal owner. And for the deal, I also want to use the deal stage as a hierarchy. This is an attribute for the deal, and this is it. So now I just click on Create Cube. You can see now our two dimensions. We can see the time period, and this will now do everything completely automatically. So with just a few mouse clicks, I'm able to create the Actaris dimensions and the Actaris cube. As you can see, this import was very quick. You can see our two new dimensions, the deal name. Let's see what this dimension looks like. So this was done correctly. We have to deal name here and deal stage. We can also have a look now and see what the hierarchy looks like. So now we can see all the one deals, the hierarchy and the in communication stage deals. We have the other dimension here for the deal owner with the same thing with the two columns, and we have three salespeople, and they're part of a team. And then finally, the cube itself. We created this cube called HubSpot. We see we have the three dimensions, and let's have a look at the data. Say if you wanted to see this by the deal owner, in the rows by the date in the columns, and the deal name in the filter. And now we see the data. Here we've got the three salespeople. We have the time dimension. We can obviously structure this in whatever way you want, and then also immediately enter data back using the Actaris Power BI or Excel front ends. This was a quick overview of the Actaris Cube Wizard.